Hi, I'm Nathan Basiski. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Buck Institute for Research on Aging, and I am the 2017 Signolo uh, Award winner. I decided to go into aging, I guess, because when I was an undergrad, I got curious about um, what it what is known about the biology of aging, and I was surprised to find out that there really didn't seem to be much known at all. Um, and the reason this surprised me is because aging is such a universal phenomenon. Um, and so I thought it's something that uh, people should really try to understand better. So um, my area of research is looking at uh, the role of protein homeostasis in uh, aging. So protein homeostasis is uh, the process by which the cell maintains an equilibrium of, of proteins in the cell. So uh, this is a, this is a really important process in aging, and the focus of most of my work is to look at the role of protein homeostasis in aging, but also in during longevity. So several interventions which uh, extend lifespan in mammals. The topic I'm talking about today is uh, focused on a antioxidant mouse model of longevity. So um, uh, using a uh, transgenic or um, I guess a genetically engineered uh, mouse that overexpresses an antioxidant in its cell called catalase and it overexpresses this in a specific part of the cell called the mitochondria where most of our energy is produced. So uh, this MCAT mouse has been shown in the past to be very beneficial for longevity. They live longer um, and slow down uh, uh, a whole slew of age-related diseases. In the work I'm going to talk about today, I look at uh, aging in the MCAT mice compared with regular aging in normal mice. And um, what I saw, um, unsurprisingly, was that in the old MCAT mice, uh, we see that they're more similar um, in their cardiac proteome to young mice, which is what you might expect when you give an old mouse this intervention. However, in the young mice uh, that are expressing uh, mitochondrial catalase, we see uh, that they look more similar to old mice. So this is, uh, the reason this is important is because it suggests that um, not all interventions which are beneficial to the old may be beneficial to the young, and not all interventions that are beneficial to the young may be beneficial to the old. Yeah, so it just uh, highlights the importance of taking into account age uh, when deciding on whether a drug will have therapeutic value in humans. So a lot of the work I do uh, uses state-of-the-art techniques that look at the proteins in the cell. And um, so one thing I'm really excited about is method development to uh, improve the uh, how well we can characterize proteins in the cell and also how we can characterize the way proteins are regulated, so the turnover of proteins in the cell. And so um, one of the things I'm currently interested in doing is uh, improving upon uh, the techniques that are currently available but also to use these improved techniques to look at the role of protein homeostasis in age-related skeletal muscle atrophy.